Um, and Warren and you are known for saying that if you work with a small sum of capital, namely, I think, being $10 million, Warren had probably said that he could, he, he could guarantee that you compound that at 50% a year. So my question is, can you provide some examples? And, and I would ask, kindly ask you to provide as many examples as possible and be as specific as possible. Thank you. Well, and then I hear somebody that really wants to get rich at a rapid rate with specifics. That is not what we try and do here. We want to leave some mystery so that you can Amuse yourself finding your own way. You know, the good ideas that I have had in my life are quite few. But the lesson I can give you is a few is all you need, and don't be disappointed. And when you find the few, of course, you've got to act aggressively. That's the wonder sister. And I learned that indirectly from a man I never met, which was my mother's maternal grandfather. He was a pioneer, and he came out to Iowa and fought in the Black Hawk Wars and so on. And, and eventually, after enormous hardship, well, he was the richest man in town, and he owned the bank and, and uh, so on. And, and he sat there in his old age when my, my mother knew him because you go to his Algona, Iowa, where he lived and had the big house in the middle of town, iron fence, capacious lawns, big barns. Oh, yeah. And what Grandpa Ingham used to tell her is there's just a few opportunities you get in a whole lot. This guy took over Iowa when the land was, the black topsoil of Iowa was cheap. But he didn't get that many opportunities. It was just a few that enabled him to become prosperous. He bought a few farms. Every time there was a panic, you know, and you leased them to thrifty Germans. You couldn't lose money leasing a farm to a German in Iowa. And, and, but he, he only did a few things. And, and I'm afraid that's the, you're not going to find a million wonderful ideas. I think these people with the computer algorithms do it, but they have a computer that's sifting the whole world. It's like placer mining. And, and of course, every niche they're in, if somebody else comes in, the niche starts leaching away. And I don't think it's that honorable way to make a living, by the way. I would rather make my money in some other way than outsmarting the trading system so I have a little computer algorithm that just leeches a little out of everybody's trade. I always say that those people have all the social utility of a bunch of rats in a granary. <laughs> it's not that great a way to make money. I would say that if you make your money that way, you should be very charitable with it, because you've got a lot to atone for. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I don't think it's an ambition we should encourage. And the rest of us who aren't just leeching a little off the top because we're great at computer science. And that's what this room is full of. And if you're not finding it harder now, you don't understand it. That's, that's my lesson. <laughs>